as a man, it is your fundamental human right, it is moral, it is even biblical for you to suck breast. <laughs> It is your duty for you to do what? Suck breath. How can you be a man and say you don't suck breath? You are mad. Morally, when you were young, breath used to be your only source of survival. Breath was your source of life. Now you are growing old and you want to forget the days of your little beginning. I want to hear you say suck breath. Medicinally, medicinally, they say, check them. They say, if you are sucking a woman's breast, you are helping her to fight cancer. Do I have some educated people here? <laughs> Even biblically, listen to me. Biblically, the Bible says, deputy, listen to me, sir. You might know how to live, but when it comes to breast, ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Biblically, sir. The Bible said, let her breast be as pleasant as roe. Yeah. Do you know what roe means? I don't know. Too. <laughs> the Bible went further. The Bible went further to say, at all times, let her breast satisfy thee. Yeah. Do I have some breast suckers in the house? Oh, I want to hear you say suck breast! There is a special grace behind the sucking of breast. There is a special blessing. Massacre, listen to me. There is a special blessing for those that suck breast. Listen. They say the prayer of your mother keeps you going. Am I right or right? But for somebody like me, sir, my mother is late. My mother is no more. But for the breast I sucked when I was in university. <laughs> for the breast I sucked in first ball. The breast I sucked in second ball. The breast I sucked in Oharami. Most of those girls today, they are not mothers. And when those girls are praying, they will say, all oh, my children shall prosper. 